Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you a couple of ways how you can link to notes and to content inside the notes, which has been improved in the last update. So since the last update, you can link to weekly notes, for example, which you couldn't do before. Uh, you could only link to daily notes and to regular notes. And you can also search now for weekly notes inside the command bar, so you can jump to them much quicker. Um, you could already link to headings and subheadings, but um, the way you can do this has been improved and it's now much easier. And you can also link to individual synced lines. And I'll explain what synced lines are in general. So let's start with linking to weekly notes. So uh, linking to weekly notes works just the same as linking to daily notes. Uh, you can type in the greater than sign <clears throat> and earlier it would say today, tomorrow and or type in the date. And with, the, uh, with weeks, you can just say WK, for example, to get the current week, if you don't remember the week number. Or you can also uh, type in just week or this week. And if it's like next week, previous week and so on, you can use this too, like in three weeks. Then we get the date and we get the week. So I select the week now. And it's just a link as with the daily note links. You can click on it and it will open the weekly note. And at the top you see this link appears now just as with the daily notes. Um, you can see the reference from where we are linking. So let's jump back. So this is how you can link to weekly notes. And um, you can use natural language if you don't know the week number. You don't need to remember the exact syntax, how to write this link. And this also works with X callback URLs um, if you have used them before. You can also go to the week, click here top right, and then uh, we first need to type something so the note is created. <clears throat> and then you can link to the, uh, you can copy the link directly to this week or the URL, which is the X callback URL. Okay, let's jump back. So this is linking to weekly notes, and you can search the weekly notes also in the command bar just the same way. You can say uh, just week, and then you will get the current week, or you say, uh, in five weeks and you get a link to the weekly note in five weeks and so on or next year and whatever. You can use natural language to navigate to a specific weekly note without having to click through the calendar. Okay, this is uh, how you can search for weekly notes in the command bar. Now let's jump to linking to headings. So earlier you could link to headings um, by typing the uh, the wiki links and then you said something like another demo node uh, and then if you type the pound sign you could select the subheading which is a bit complicated what you can do now is you go directly to the node which where you have the subheading and you can click on the drag button so now the drag button gives you options to copy the wiki link or copy the x callback url so you can use it also in other apps so I click the wiki link and now I go back to the, my original note and I can paste it here. So it's now much easier to do this and you don't need to type it out uh, if, you, if you're more comfortable using the mouse. So this is linking to headings and linking to synced lines. So linking to headings is good if you want to link to a certain uh, part of, the, of a note, which is a bit larger, like a, a couple of paragraphs. But sometimes you have tasks and you want to link to a specific task or to, you want to link to a specific bullet, bullet or something where you have more information. And you can then describe this part um, in your daily note or so a little bit differently. So let me show you what I mean. Um, for example, we can go up again to the, this uh, demo note and we have a bullet here or a task or whatever, some information. Uh, and you can also click on the drag button here, just like with the headings, but the content changes of the context menu. Now you can uh, copy the synced line. This, uh, this way you have two versions of the same line, but if you change one, the other will update. Uh, this is useful if you, if you want to see the full content of the task and if you want to check it off. But we will use now copy link to a line. So we copy it and you see it, it makes or it creates a synced line by adding this asterisk here. Uh, behind which is an ID hidden, so no plan can reference it. So let's go back to this note and I can say um, look into and then paste it here. So you see the ID is visible here actually. 
and uh, I made a task to uh, look into something like a bullet point I wrote before a thought idea or something and I want to reference it like in this way in this example now I can click on it and it will open the note and uh, mark or highlight the the paragraph you have linked here in this case or you can also click here and see the other copies of your bullet the other way is just to copy this now and I can paste it here And now uh, this appears, you can see where this uh, line, where all the duplicates live of this particular paragraph or line. You can jump between them. And now if I change it to something else and wait a couple of seconds, and now you go here, it has changed here too. So these are the two uses. If you want the full task, like replicate it, duplicate it of the full content, you can use the you can copy the sync line if you want to kind of rewrite it and just reference to it but not the exact same content maybe it's very long then you can create a direct link to it so these are links to sync lines and i also kind of already explained what are sync lines so if you make a change as i said before no plan will look for all the other sync lines with the same id and update them and you can enable this uh, in the last tab here. By default, it's disabled because it's still in kind of um, in a test period, uh, you could say. And you can enable it here. You can just check both uh, boxes. And the last option refers to if you have the same line, sync line duplicated in the same node, then it will update it live. So it's a bit more uh, uh, efficient. Okay, that's all. Um, I hope this, all these ways, how you can link to things will help you uh, build a better workflow. And see you next time.